Now it's at this point in your tour, when you get to the top of the stairs, and your docent tells you that the hotel is one city block long. And she directs your attention to the window on Orange Street. And then we spin back around and look at the window way down at the other end of the hall on Main Street. But because this is a special tour and it's just you and me, we're going to go all the way down and look at St. Chad. Is this not a beautiful window? This is the very colorful, bejeweled St. Chad of Litchfield. Chad was a bishop. He wore the traditional mitre style hat. This one is covered in jewels. Known for his humility, his eyes are humbly downcast and his face shows a slight smile. A yellow halo glowing around his head indicates that he was a saint. In his right hand, he holds a model of Litchfield Cathedral in Midlands, England, the only cathedral in medieval England that has three spires. He wears a white glove embroidered with the image of a bug, a symbol of immortality, and over the glove he wears a ring made with a dome of bright red glass. A sash goes around his neck and drapes down the front of his tunic. It has an intricate knotted rope design whose gold sparkles next to the thick domes of colored glass the artist used. St. Chad was important in bringing Christianity to England in the 7th century. Much in the same way Padre Junipero Serra founded a chain of churches in California, a thousand years before that, St. Chad had done the same thing in England. Both men traveled on foot. Litchfield was also once home to the oldest dated bell in the Christian world, dated 1255. But when Frank Miller bought a bell dated 1247, the Mission Inn became the home of the oldest dated bell. We win! <laughs> now on a personal note, my daughter lived in London for about seven years and when I would go visit her she was often at work so I was on my own to explore London and one day when I was in the Victoria and Albert Museum and I was feeling kind of lonely I looked up and I felt like I had run into an old friend from, from Riverside. There was a stained glass window almost exactly like this one in the Victoria and Albert Museum. There he was, St. Chad. The London window is the same shape and design as ours, but the colors are drab, grays, and greens, like a rainy day in London. And the colors in our windows are rich, intense colors, like California on a sunny day. Since we knew nothing about our window, I was excited to see theirs was done by a famous stained glass artist, Christopher Wall, an innovator in stained glass art during the late 1800s. Armed with this information, we learned that it was Pasadena artist George Carpenter, who died in 1940, who was inspired to make this version of Christopher Wall's St. Chad that graces the Mission Inn. It's a faithful copy, from the bug on his glove to the staff on his left hand. George Carpenter obviously admired this work. He must have thought it could use just a little more color. It's one of my favorite pieces at the end. Partly because I helped discover its history, but mostly because it reminded me a day, of a day when I was feeling rather lonely in London. And an image like this reminded me of home. Thanks for watching. Tune in for more Mission In Stories. I'm Barbara Burns.